Greetings, comrades. It is I, Miriam, the only Miriam, and thank you so much for tuning in. Today, we will be learning the names of colors in the Armenian language. In the past few videos, we covered other sorts of basics in the Armenian language, such as names for family members, subject pronouns, and necessary expressions for everyday use. So please be sure to check out the description box. A few past videos will be linked down below. Please be sure to check those out. And before we begin, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Click on the zangak or the bell icon for notifications from this channel. And share this video with your other Armenian learning or Armenian speaking comrades. As I always say, I will be repeating each expression that we learn in both English and in Armenian. And as a fellow language learner, my advice to you all is to use pencil and paper or a notebook and a pen to record all the expressions that we learned today. Also, my hair is actually huge today and I don't even know why. Anyways, enough with the shenanigans. Let's get to some language learning. So, vore kaiden, Maria mihet. First things first, we have the word guin in Armenian, meaning color. Guin, color, guin. However, guiner, means colors in Armenian. Guiner, colors. Actually, I'm not exactly sure what the etymological roots of this word are, but I suppose that this might be related to the word chimera or color in Greek. Who knows? Now we are actually going to learn all the colors of the rainbow or the tziatzan in Armenian. Tziatzan, rainbow. Tziatzan, rainbow. And then we will learn additional names for colors that aren't from the rainbow, but are obviously very important to know. First of all, we have my favorite personal guin, garmir, red, garmir, red, garmir. Now, I will be making a video very soon on how to express physical features or how to describe what somebody looks like. But interestingly enough, if you would like to say that somebody has ginger hair, in Armenian you can call them garmramaz, meaning a ginger or ginger-haired. Garmramaz. We actually do have a few redheads in the family, but clearly I didn't get those genes. Next, we have narinjaguin. Orange, narinjaguin. You see, this word actually does sound a bit similar to the word orange. Linguistic tip. So you see, a lot of the words for colors in Armenian are actually compound words or two words that have been combined into one. And these names for colors or the way compound words work and are formed in Armenian actually follow a very specific rule. You see, in Armenian, when you would like to create a compound word, you essentially take two words and you combine them with a in the middle. And when it comes to these compound word names for colors, the rule is that the first word is a word that is, in fact, the color that you are describing. And then the second word after the a is guin. So an example of this would be narinja guin. The first part of this compound word is narinj, meaning orange, like the fruit. And the second part is guin, meaning color. So when you are saying narinja guin, you are quite literally saying color of orange, but this is just the name for orange. And lo and behold, orange sounds a lot like narinj. The reason why I mention this is, as you will see, a lot of these names for these colors are in fact compound words and do follow this very canon. Interestingly enough, the word for canon in Armenian is ganon, cognates. Anyways, as we just learned, narinjaguin is orange. Moving forward, we have derin, yellow, derin. Afterwards, we have ganach, green, ganach. And after green comes blue, gapuit, blue, gapuit. Really funny, this word kind of sounds like gapuit in Russian. Next, we have purple. And once again, this word is a compound word, manushaka guin, purple, manushaka guin. Now, manushak in Armenian is essentially a sort of flower, and that itself is either violet or purple or some sort of hue of that sort. So once again, we have manushakaguin, 
purple. So since we got through the colors of the Ziazan or the rainbow, let us review them before moving on. We have Garmir, red, Naranjaguin, orange, Derin, yellow, Ganach, green, Gapuit, blue, and Manushakaguin, purple. And now let us move on to the more alternative colors. First of all, we have pink or Vartaguin, pink, Vartaguin. Now you see the word Vart in Armenian quite literally means rose. So when you are saying Vartaguin in Armenian, you are quite literally saying rose color, but that word means pink. Interestingly enough, I'm pretty sure that the word for pink in Sanskrit was Vart or something of that sort. I don't know. I just know that they're somewhat linguistically related. Next, we have black or sev. Black, sev. Interestingly enough, those with black hair in Armenian are called sevaher. Black haired, sevaher. Next up, we have spitak, white. Spitak, white. Interestingly enough, there was actually a sev leech or a lake in Armenia with the name of Black. And there's also a town in Armenia called Spitak, meaning white. Now for the more metallic colors, we have Voskeguin, gold, Voskeguin. Voski in Armenian means gold, Voski, like the metal or the metal. Voskeguin quite literally means gold color, gold, Voskeguin. For silver, we have Artataguin, Silver, Arta Taguin. And to wrap things up, we have Mohraguin, meaning gray. Mohraguin, gray. I could be wrong, but the word Mohir quite literally means like dust or cinder, I believe. So Mohraguin. Interestingly enough, we called Cinderella in Armenian Mohrotik. So there is some sort of connection there. Now, before we do a quick review, let us also learn two important, <laughs> two important words that we use to describe colors, the words light and dark. First, we have bat, meaning light, bat. I must also warn that this word bat means open or is a command for when you want somebody to open something. So to use this in a sentence, we could say bat kapuit, meaning light blue, bat light. For dark, we have muk. Remember, it's muk, not muk, because muk means mouse. But if you would like to describe something as dark, you can say muk. For example, muk manashaka guin means dark purple. Muk manashaka guin. Now, to wrap things up, let us review all that we have just learned. First of all, we have guin, color, guin. Guiner, colors, Guiner. Now let us whiz through this entire rainbow or Ziazan. Garmir, red, Naranjaguin, orange, Derin, yellow, Ganach, green, Gapuit, blue, Manushakaguin, purple, Vartaguin, Pink, spitak, white, sev, black, voskeguin, gold, artataguin, artataguin, and mohraguin, gray. We also have bat, meaning light when describing a color, and muk, meaning dark. And that is all for today, comrades. Thank you so much for viewing. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe once again, and I will see you all very soon.